so it is uh, basically the work of transport layer to transport the packets and then we have got our network layer and uh, the internet protocol works on the network layer and uh, the transport layer is the connection oriented layer and the protocols working on the transport layer are called the connection oriented protocols because they need a connection between them and the protocols for example ip protocol internet protocol working are work works on network layer and they are connectionless protocols and what is the main purpose of the network layer the main purpose or the main responsibility is to provide means of transferring variable, variable lengths of data sequences which are called datagrams so its main purpose is to provide means for the transferring of the datagrams from one node to another node and it is not a reliable connection it's a unreliable connection and it is the responsibility of the transport layer to connect to to do the reliable transportation and uh, <clears throat> underneath the network layer on number 6 or number 2 you could say is the data link layer and as the name suggests the main purpose of the data link sorry about the mistake data link layer is to provide a reliable link between two nodes so to provide a reliable data link between two nodes and it also detects and corrects the errors that may occur at the physical layer and at the data link layer we assign or uh, the system assigns mac of physical addresses to the packets and our switches work at the data link layer and usually uh, our routers work at the network layer and on the bottom we have got physical layer in the osi model and the main responsibility of the physical layer or the main purpose is to determine the electrical and physical specifications of the data connection as the name suggests it works on bits and its main purpose is to determine or to specify the electrical and physical specifications of the data connection and it also defines relationship between device and the physical transmission medium so it also defines the relationship between the laptop and the copper wire and it also uses the protocol to establish and terminate a connection so this is the main purpose of the Uh, physical layer so we have got seven layers in our osi model and those layers work at the source and at the remote computers so if we send an if we are using an application then that application had uh, gives the data to the application layer application layer gives the data to the presentation layer the presentation layer converts the data into 
the machine readable format and gives it gives it to session layer the session layer establishes the connection and gives the data to network layer uh, all people oh, sorry the session layer gives it to transport layer the transport layer uh, is responsible for sending that data securely to the host computer and it assigns the tcp uh, address to those packets and uh, underneath the transport layer we have got network layer the network layer assigns ip address to those packets and uh, underneath the transport layer we have the network layer we have got data link layer which assigns physical address to those packets and then the physical layer sends the data to the uh, remote computer at the receiving end the physical layer converts uh, gives the data to the data link layer and the data link layer under, uh, reads the mac address or the physical address of the device and if it's intended for it, uh, it then it gives the uh, packets to the network layer which uh, uh, reads the IP address and gives it to transport layer uh, uh, and the transport layer reads the TCP and gives it to the session layer and the session layer gives it to the presentation layer which converts the data into the application readable format and then gives it to the application layer which is interacting with the user at the receiving end through via the application and this is how a communication on network is done. So remember friends that OSI is a conceptual framework and uh, at the physical level the communication might be done at in a different manner. So thank you very much friends for watching this tutorial if you would like to need if you would like to know more about networking and osi model then please visit ifectner.com so take care and bye bye see you next time bye